Uh, definitely stay tuned. And we're just, it looks like we're maybe just starting on Smashville once again. And we are. So I expect for this set to see a lot of nice uh, reads coming out from, from both players. All right, and we're just going to, we're going to crouch and laser, <laughs> crouch and laser. Uh, very, very interesting tactics from both players. I mean, we got, we got five minutes and 40, we got five minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. They're, they uh. don't seem to be in any hurry. <laughs> this is, this is, a, this is a fun game, guys. Neither one willing to approach, neither one having the advantage. Um, um, I'm wondering uh, why Conway, like, is he just like, is it nap time? All right, and it looks like after 30 seconds of that, Conway's had enough. All right, now we got Abyss with the lead. Now, Conway is a, uh, I didn't get to talk about this in the last step, but Conway as a Bayonetta player is definitely one of the more passive Bayos. Like you, you could definitely tell in a set with JK that he was definitely playing a lot more passive, whereas JK was just kind of in his face, not really letting him do much. So what Kamo is going to really go for it in this set is going to get is going to be just get his percent lead, get his combos when he has the opening. But overall, just stay more, just stay away from Fox because there's really no reason that he has. He really doesn't have too much of a reason to go in on it. He's got the percent lead, which right now the percent lead actually belongs to Abyss. Yeah, Abyss is actually up quite a bit right here. He's threatening with these up airs. But as we all know, Abyss is just moments away from death. This, okay, good SDI getting down. down. But gonna witch time that, but he snaps to the ledge, so he's gonna be fine. Oh, he tried to tried to read the ledge option right there mm -hmm. in the witch time and forward smash him. Good option from Conway. And gonna just get the back throw. And the back here is gonna finish it off! All right. So now this is where Kamui is definitely gonna want to play more of the passive game. Mm -hmm. he's known for. Yep, no reason to approach this fox. Make him come to you, because it seems like Abyss likes to play fairly passively. He'll shoot out those lasers. He'll take those one percent. He's he's fine with it. He's definitely gonna want to look for this kill. Though you can see he's throwing out a lot of back airs. He's trying to he's trying to look for an air dodge. He's really looking for something. Ooh, trying to give him the the ankles right there. I mean, there's a back air trade. I'm gonna trade out, but that's definitely a trade in Abyss's favor. Only 19% on him. Tomoe just standing back, just standing back with these nares. And the bullet arts, just keeping, it, keeping the percent lead for him. But Abyss definitely doing a great job of going in. Oh, the perfect pivot up tilt's coming up. Up tilt got down here. That, that's one I haven't seen too long. Woo! Abyss. That was so slick from now. Abyss. Alright. Uh, he definitely has all the crazy box combos on lock. So this is getting back to even. Uh, Conway making a big combo of his own. I tried to read a roll in right there. It's gonna be punished. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got a big combo Going all start. the way up he and not getting that up air, but gonna use the forward air, force him off stage. Abyss jumps right back to the ledge. He's got a minor lead right here. Kamui's going to want to just look for these either combo starters or just space back airs. He's got, he's got nothing else that he really <laughs> feels like he needs to do. He's going to re just retreat to that platform, just keep himself safe. Don't want to, don't want to get, uh, don't want to die to a fox up smash or up uh oh And, and, and catching that air dodge. Fantastic option from Abyss. Going to take the first game. So Kamui, very close there. But Abyss having the edge in the end, just getting that one crucial air dodge read, Definitely finishing it off notice. with that up air. Definitely put on notice right there. So I think it, okay. So this is gonna be interesting to see what the counter play does. Oh, maybe not. It's just gonna be right back to Smashville. <laughs> just running right back. Kamui seems to heavily favor the Smashville counter play. I think he really likes it because he can run away on that platform when he needs to. So this, this time, okay, they're not going to start out with the... Uh, yeah, let's not start with... Yeah, practice. 30 seconds of uh, just camping for no real reason. In the up tilts. Yeah, just doing again. another one into the down air. Big damage from Abyss. Abyss trying to advance into top eight. Conway obviously trying to do the same, getting a big combo, but Abyss finding an opening, getting a dash tag. He 
reads the witch time. Yeah. Abyss has been so patient. And he went for a grab, which is the safest thing you can do right there. Because you're like, oh, he's locked into this option. But if you try to go for an, op like an aggressive option and you throw out a, a hitbox, you could still maybe get witch time if you screw it up. Or the bat within can come out too mm -hmm. and still put you in a bad position. So exactly. Yeah, grab is definitely the option you want there. Goes for jab, jab, up, so not going to connect that one, though. Once again, a very stage. close game, and that backer is going to tie things up. Oh, and he's going to drop a little too low. The nair pressure by uh, Kamaway, too intense. Kamaway just did a great job right there of trapping him. He just didn't give him any options. If he had tried to recover, he was just going to get hit by the nair anyway. So, just great trap right there. The and the back air forcing him off stage. Oh, now you're underneath. Oh! oh what? Whoa. Come away! Come away! You're insane. You're insane. That, that was crazy. I'm a, I'm a little shook right now. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, but Abyss, you're gonna get an opportunity to respond back from that. Just no regard for Abyss's well being. Chases him all the way off stage, under the stage, challenging Abyss to see a. How, how many times was he going to be able to tech? Yeah, I know. The, not getting the insane techs, but that is, that's one insane edge guard from Pomaway. And going to Town and City. For this game three. I believe this is still a best of three, so winner of this advances into top eight. Oh, and Kamui is starting to get those fair strings started. Definitely one of the strongest points that Bayonetta has in the Fox matchup. If she can, she can carry Fox off with just repeated... Yep, getting the fair strings like you were talking about. Oh, that's going to force him off to the side. He's and he's all box. the way out, but he's going to be able to get back to the ledge. Great recovery by Abyss. Up tilts him out of the heel slot. And we saw all of that string, but not too much percent on Abyss. Abyss has done such a good time up timing his up tilts as well, getting tons of damage out of him. And trying to get that BB back air. Great uh, pivot forward tilt, but we're going to get a big combo from Kamaway. Sets are extremely even right now. But Abyss is off stage. And that down air from Kamaway is going to catch it. Here comes the Fox Vortex from Abyss, though. Trapped him with that back air into up tilt. And the jab's actually going to break him out right there. Interesting. So Abyss, going to throw him off, but he's going to stretch oh! himself! Oh, no! Oh! No, that the, is not how you want to go. The mental miscalculation right there. <laughs> That's Kamui, unfortunate. Kamui feels like, bad. What? Kamui just looking like... What are you doing? Yeah, and Colony's distraught for his mans right there. Rather unfortunate, but Abyss. nothing can be done right there. This just looks, he just looks really upset about that one. That's so unfortunate, and That's just kind of puts his hands up, mistimed it, get a hug. Yeah, they're going to hug it out. Like, it's, it's, you, it, it's something like, it's just, it's, it's unfortunate, but what can he do? I, so, I appreciate the option that he was going for. Like, he wanted something really great, and he had the opportunity.